Welcome Gemini, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now and we'll be using the Grace Cards and Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it Gemini. Okay, so Grace Cards, first off, three cards for Gemini please. Three cards. First card out, I don't know what it's... I think it's, what is it? Valor. I don't know what that one is either. I think it could be Faith. It's the wrong way around. One more card for it. Gemini. Please. Thank you. Okay. So, first card out is Valor. Okay, here we go. Let me show you. I love this card. I absolutely love it. This guy's going into battle, right? And he's got this angel here next to him. Like, sort of like clearing the way, in a sense, like for his path that he's on. Is he going into battle? Seems like he's going into battle. Oh, yeah, he's got a shield. Anyway, be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we, wherever we go. Shh. I love that. Okay, yes, it is Faith. Look at her. I love the uh, uh, <laughs> I love that expression. Like, oh my gosh, seriously, is this yeah? So I don't know what's going on for you, Gemini, but there's some something going on, right? Anyway, have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. True, true. Okay, and now we have peace. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Mm, that's nice that that's come out after those two. Okay, Gemini. Right, so let's have a look. So we've got, what's this one? Valor. Okay, so two cards for Valor. For Gemini, please. Two cards for Valor. Valor. For Gemini, please. Shift your energy. Mm. One more card. These are hard to shuffle today. I don't know why. Maybe I've just been used to the little ones last time. <laughs> okay, so two cards. One more card for Valor for Gemini, please. One more card for Valor for Gemini. There it is. Shift your energy, Gemini. Really interesting here. This is sort of like, it reminds me of, you know how there's been a storm, right? And you, it's been raining and windy and lightning and thunder and everything. And then you go outside after it's finished and the air is so crisp and clear. And I feel like this is what needs to happen for you. And so maybe getting out in nature would help you to shift your energy, Gemini. Potentially, well, especially, see, with this one blowing here, right? It's like she's clearing She's clearing everything away. And because you're an air sign, I think maybe getting out in the fresh air, Gemini, will be helpful to you. Okay, but let's have a look more into this. Shift your energy. Two cards for shift your energy for Gemini, please. Thank you. One more. Yep, yeah, that's it. Excellent. It won't be a mile. Just pick that up. That really went flying across the room. Anyway, okay, so, hmm, morality here. There's something keeping you trapped. Kind of wonder, Gemini. What I'm, the message I'm getting here is that um, it's sort of like being brought up in a particular environment or with particular messages um, that really do not serve you. They keep you trapped. Okay, and it's sort of like they go over and over and over in your mind. Um, but I have it because the oh, sorry, let me finish. But it's um it's actually 
keeping you you from branching out I feel because look at the energy between these two cards here she's free to do what she wants she's free to clear the air she's free to walk this earth um, to walk her path okay she's free to do that this one here not so much rigid just like this do it this way and that's the only way and do not step out of that that's what that's the energy i'm getting from this real strong and so when we're looking at valor here be courageous the un unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go right be courageous gemini because we'll still be blessed we won't you know maybe you were told you'll go to hell if you do that Maybe you were brought up in a really religious environment, you know. Um, but I feel like this is a new beginning to develop this new sense of morality for you. Okay, we've got clinging to the past as well. And, you know, this is the thing, Gemini, that, you know, sometimes we can make it look really, really attractive. But the fact of the matter is we're still chained. We're still in the box. You know, we're not seeing things clearly. And how it's impacted us. We're not seeing that we don't have the freedom. We, you know, we, we, we keep ourselves trapped. You know, it might have been that's what we learned or that's what was put upon us. But then it's up to us, okay? So it's a matter of really stepping out, okay? And being courageous to do so. Okay, infinite blessings here. Infinite blessings, Gemini. Yes. Oh, I love this, Gemini. This is so beautiful. This is you being showered with these infinite blessings for being yourself, for walking your path, for being authentic. Yeah? Okay, so two cards for infinite blessings for Gemini, please. One card has already come out, Gemini. Beautiful. Okay, so consciousness. Look at this. The beginning of something new, the beginning of a new consciousness, the beginning of a new you. You know, in, in standing in this in this peace, the serenity, while you stand in your power. Right? Interesting, actually, because guilt did flip over, but I didn't like the way it came out, but it's just popped into my mind now. Some of you may feel guilty guilty for doing this. Some of you may feel like you shouldn't. Some of you may feel like you need to remain in this to keep everybody happy. And it's letting go. When you let go, when you let go of whatever it is that you need to let go, Gemini, of, but they're getting my words muddled up because the message is like coming out. Um, Take the time, take the time. When you let go and choose to walk in another direction from the things that aren't serving you, you send out a ripple effect, okay? And, and it's this ripple effect of this consciousness, okay? And that impacts the world. Because look at the peace surrounding both these cards. This, to me... Sometimes feels like teardrops. Um, but that can be letting go of something that's been sitting for a really long time, like the dew sits on a leaf. And it sits until the sun comes out and dries it up. Okay, so you don't need to wait for the sun to dry up. You can just bend a little and it will fall away. Um, yeah. That's interesting because I've never had that message out with that card before. But anyhow, let's move on. Faith. Have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put on our path for a reason. Yes. So two cards for have faith for Gemini, please. Two cards for have faith for Gemini. Okay. We've got pause here, so taking time, taking time before you take the next step, okay? Um, maybe taking time to 
renew the faith within, potentially, um, to become curious about what's around you, who's around you, why are they there, what can you learn, what is the reason, what is the reason why you are where you are, right? Hmm. Okay, so pause. Two cards for pause for Gemini, please. Just take a moment, Gemini. Just take a moment. Is that one flipped over? I don't like. Yep. No. Yep. Traveling. Yes. Taking a moment along this path because it can be a rocky terrain, right? It can be tough. Not many people are on this path, Gemini. You are one of the few who are on this path. You're heading towards this light here. The shining, shining light, because that is who you are. That is your energy and that is your vibration. Okay, along you walk this lonesome path to this. And this is where you find your soul family, those who are, who are you. Okay, um, Gemini. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I love this message. I love this message. <sighs> Sometimes we need to take a pause along the path. Okay, so that we can rise up and see the possibilities. See what what possibilities this, this path has for us. To take a moment. Because sometimes the path can feel so blimmin' hard. You go, why am I even walking it? What is the point? You know, but when you look at Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason, even if it's very tough. Even if it's very tough. Even when we're in a situation we don't want to be in, we can still be our authentic self. We can still stand in this power. We can still stand in awareness and consciousness. We can still walk our truth. Right? Yes, Gemini, yes. Look at the possibilities that your life brings. The options that you have. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Catch your breath. Yeah, see, so you take a pause and catch your breath, right? And that's the thing. When you're walking along the path, you need to do that sometimes. You can't keep walking, walking, walking every minute of every day. You do have to take your a pause and catch your breath. This is, wow. Wow, this is great. Okay, so two cards for Catch Your Breath for Gemini, please. And that's the thing. I love how this one here is hugging a tree because it's kind of like getting that, um, like refueling with that, um, the hugging of the tree like, right? And just being like, oh, yes, soaking up the energy of nature and, and you know, getting out in that here, right? Okay, so we've got three cards that have jumped out here. Yep. And the balance. So some of you may actually have a decision to make or you're not not sure which way to go, okay, and you're just hanging in the balance and it's quite, um, it's unnerving is what it is because it's like, for some of you, it feels like there's the sense of, can I even stand up? I don't even know if I can stand up. If I take a rest, am I even going to be able to get up and keep going? I'm not sure I can. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so we've got this card jump out here, which is comparison. This is this, you know, sort of like battle with your mind in a sense and comparing yourself to others, Gemini, and seeing because this person here hanging in the balance may see the, um, the fact that the birds are flying in the air. It's like, well, why can't I do that? It's because you're not a bird, right? So it's not comparing yourself. These two trees here, and I love this because this person here is hugging a tree. Okay, this little little one is hugging a tree. So, Gemini, it doesn't matter. You still have the essence and the worthiness of who you are inside, regardless of what anyone else is doing around you. Okay? You are you for a reason. You're walking your path for a reason. You, it might feel isolated, but that's because, Gemini, you are you, and you are the one who can cope with that. Everyone else has to walk the same old path as everyone else. 
that you, you are who you are and that is why you're walking this path because of who you are. I mean, I just feel like I'm repeating myself. But I just, I, I can't express it enough, Gemini. It's like, <sighs> you're so special. You're so special. And you can't even see it. You really can't, Gemini. And, um, and it saddens me because you deserve to see it. You deserve to see how incredible you are. And, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, if you can hear my tummy grumbling, sorry about it. Anyway, <laughs> this next card here is moment to moment. All right, so um, this is being present, Gemini. This is being present step by step, moment by moment. Not going back to the past unless you have to do some healing. But then you're not also living there. Okay, you're only dealing with the emotions that need to be dealt with, but living in the present. All right, okay, so next we have peace. Okay, Gemini, let's get two cards for peace. Two cards for peace for Gemini, please. Oh, I'm just spitting everywhere. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness yeah like this right like this consciousness okay so first card one more card for gemini for peace please like it's just so hard to shuffle my hands are quite cold though so maybe that's why i don't like how that came out okay one more card for peace for Gemini, please. I feel like it just kind of fell out. That's that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so Gemini, be your best self always. Yes. And, and the thing with this is I feel like it's you really kind of giving yourself permission, um, stepping out of this comparison and giving yourself to permission to be your authentic self. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so two cards for be your best self always. Well, well, okay, intensity, intensity. Yeah, see, this is just you rushing into it like, bam, here I am. <laughs> I love that. It is awesome. No apologies, nothing. Just being you, Gemini. Okay, transformation, man, oh man, and the transformation that will happen when you allow yourself to do this, Gemini, is going to be beyond what you could imagine. And the thing is, you've got all the tools to do it. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything to be you because you've already got it, Gemini. You've got it. Okay, so time to bring it. Okay, so be spontaneous, Gemini. Yeah, this is, I feel like you reaching up reaching for the stars even though it's a moon but it's at night time so the stars are going to be there you know but the thing is that you won't have to reach too far because they're already there for the taking for you okay gemini be spontaneous two cards for gemini for be spontaneous please first card love it gemini this is fantastic one more card for be spontaneous okay let's just like Okay, I'm going to take these because they just flipped out. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Gemini, this is what we've got here. We've got rebirth, we've got the outsider, we've got adventure, and we've got ordinariness. Okay, Gemini, so here we go, rebirth. Love that this has come out because seriously, this is you coming out and being your true self, right? At some, I feel like some of you are afraid of your power. I think you misinterpret your power and what that looks like. But if you let it out, you'll begin to see the beauty of it. Okay. Um, and I feel like this will take you on an adventure. Some of you feel like, and this reminds me actually of this card here, like the outsider. Okay. 
And this could be um, in a family environment. You may feel like the outsider, you know, or that you're getting shut out. And that impacts this inner child, yeah? But the thing is, Gemini, you are the adult now of your inner child. So you get to nurture and take care of that inner child. No one else has the power over you or your inner child. So you are in complete and utter control of that okay isn't that a beautiful thing right so Gemini look at this going on an adventure this as soon as this child turns around and stops looking through the gate which is locked they will go on an adventure they will walk towards something so beautiful and so amazing Gemini this is awesome we've got ordinariness here and this is about what you can grow because this is the child who has gone on this adventure and built, built this beautiful life, serene, peaceful, with the faith that they have held. Okay, Gemini, so yeah, this is exciting. This is so cool. And I absolutely love this for you, Gemini, because you totally deserve it. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Please take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.